Well, hello there, everybody, and welcome to some combat mission, Red Thunder. We're actually going to be doing a really, really interesting mission, and the reason I say that is this is actually a mission where we have to liberate a prisoner of war camp uh, and also get revenge for the atrocities that the Germans have committed in this part of the country. As you can see, our goal is to basically cut off any escaping camp guards here. We have to rapidly cross under the cover of darkness, um, destroy the camp guards, and of course try and um, preserve as much ammunition as possible. It looks like um, what we also have to do is try and knock out as many of the armor, the responding armor um, attacks as possible. There's going to be quite a lot coming this way. So hopefully we can uh, shoot them down without too much difficulty. Uh, let's go ahead and start setting that up. So I've got um, a pretty good idea of how to approach this. But the idea being is we want to get over here to where the barracks are, set up a defensive line across from the barracks, and start infiltrating with our own infantry. We also want to get some infantry into that town location. And I'm guessing that most of the German tanks are going to be coming from over there, the road to Ostrovich. Uh, so let's do this. Grab our... Hold on one second. Sorry. Right. Um, so we're going to go to, um, basically, here's what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to quick move. That's right. Because we are approaching um, under cover of darkness, and I don't believe the enemy necessarily knows we're here. Uh, we'll quick move and hunt. And we do have to attack individually here, because if I select everybody, uh, it's going to select just the infantry units on top of the tanks. So let's continue to quick move here. Again, with a hunt in that general direction. Uh, same over here. Quick move. And eventually, we are going to dismount these units. We're going to start getting into the barracks, of course, and uh, really taking the enemy to task. I'm going to do this, too. And again, hunt right up to that tree line. Uh, same over here, right up to the tree line. We've got a few others here, and I think we need to start setting them up on the road to Ostrovich. So I'm going to start setting these tank units to actually hang out right around this area. As you can see, that, that, and this guy. Uh, and I'll do the same with the mortars here. In fact, these guys we can move at, as one group. We'll just do this. We'll do a hunt maneuver up to the tree line. And we'll see how things go. All right, guys, without further ado, let's plunge into the battle and try and get some revenge, of course, here uh, for our Soviets. Let's do it. And like I said, this, un this is under cover of darkness. Uh, the enemy shouldn't be really seeing us until we are right on top of them. At least that's what we're hoping. So let's see if that actually occurs. Keeping a couple of tanks behind just in case we get ambushed on the way. Uh, but I think we're actually going to be all right. My biggest concern is just knowing exactly when to dismount. But I'll be dismounting as we get to that tree line. Uh, and hopefully these men can find positions pretty quickly. See, they're moving fairly slowly here towards the enemy. I'd like them to move just a little bit faster. So let's just see how the uh, attack is progressing there. That's looking pretty good. Uh, I think now we can start moving up with the secondaries, so we'll bring these tanks, boom, and I'm actually going to hunt the rest of the way, just assuming that the enemy's going to have some, uh, some gunners there, so we'll do that. Let's quick move over here. And actually, I think I'm going to take one of these mortar teams and quick move him over here. The rest of them can kind of find their own way. How you doing, Andrew Abel? Good to see you, man. How do I rate this game compared to GT Maya's front? Um, you know, very, very different. I would say apples and oranges. Personally, I've always preferred Maya's front to Combat Mission. Um, I think Combat Mission is more tactical, though. I think it's a more challenging game. Um, so, you know, take take that with a grain of salt, you know what I mean? I think they're both great. Uh, Red Thunder's great if you want to see the Germans get crushed in 1944-45, or if you want to try a last-ditch effort at saving the Germans in that, in the, that same era. As you can see, this is actually a punitive raid behind enemy lines. 
Um, so we're going there. We have plenty of men. We're just sending out this group to try and wipe out that, um, that enemy camp where they've absolutely been massacring the villagers. The SS that are defending this camp are going to have camouflage uniforms. The guys that are wearing standard gray coats, they're of no interest to us. They're security personnel. Uh, think of them as like military police. So we're really going after the SS guys here. We are getting closer. Not close enough for me to dismount, though. I'm just going to keep on pushing, and very soon we will be dismounting. Let's just take a look at that group. Looking all right. Wouldn't be a bad idea to bring the Jeep over. Gotta love Lem Lease just for the Jeeps alone. We don't really need to do a hunt there because uh, we're not going to be hunting anything, but that's all right. Uh, let's push. Now, we also have to try and kill the Commandant, guys. Uh, he's going to be over there in his quarters, of course. I think at this point, we are going to dismount and start moving towards those positions. We need some covering fire, and hopefully the tanks can kind of offer that. You can see we had to wait um, before we dismounted because the enemy has barbed wire here. Luckily, our tanks get right through that. No issue. Boom. Boom. Hurrah! Let's go, boys. And like I said before, the enemy will be responding with tanks eventually, but we need to wipe out those security units, or those SS units, before their armor gets here. So looking pretty good so far. Okay. All right. So here's what we're going to do. We are going to dismount immediately. Uh, what I'm going to have to do is actually stop this vehicle from moving entirely. And that's a command tank, so I want to be careful with him. Um, and let's just quick move. We're going to try to get right into those barracks. Ooh, sorry, guys. Um, let me make sure. Did I dismount first? You really do have to dismount in this situation. Otherwise, the tank is going to drive all the way up. Um, it becomes a very, very concerning situation. I'm going to dismount with the officer, too, but he's going to stay put. So he's going to provide that covering fire, essentially. To dismount. And again, same strategy here. A quick move into the barracks. The tank should be able to provide that cover that we desperately need. Uh, we'll stop the tank here as well. And once again, guys, getting this unit. I think this is the only one that I'm just going to keep right there. Um, and I'm actually going to have them hunt towards the location. And what we're going to do with this tank is we're actually going to bring him through over here. I'm going to keep him trained on the governor's residence. So we're going to keep that gun trained over here. The Commandant's residence, pardon me. Uh, and hopefully he can take out uh, this, this SOB. So we can actually stop the hunt maneuver with this guy. We're just going to quick move him. Um, we'll continue the hunt maneuver over here. But we need to start um, evacuating our men into these buildings too. So let's once again put a stop to that tank right there. And we are going to grab that infantry unit and dismount. Quick move right over to this barracks. I'm sure they're going to have uh, infantry in that town. I'm certain of it. So I think it's best for us to go ahead and deal with it now. And I'm actually going to dismount these guys the old-fashioned way. So we're actually going to have the tank itself move up to that building before we dismount. Um, because I do want some tank support as we move up. So in case anything goes wrong, um, we'll start opening fire, of course, on the enemy. All right. I'm liking this so far. And I'm going to take this tank cancel that move order entirely, and we're going to bring him over to the barracks as well. Great, we've got a hell of a movement here. Let's go. Let's see how they're going to do here. Dismounting, you can see that infantry dismounting, look at that. And of course the goal here is just to make sure they get to that location without getting hit. Uh, and starting to take out the Germans. Okay, so far, not much contact. Um, it also looks like the infantry is being, being very cautious to approach. All right, looks like we've got, we could have Germans right there. As a matter of fact, 
Guys are advancing, and sure enough, guys, we got a, a group of Germans right there. Looks like we just took one out, but they're engaging us too. Look at that advance with plenty of tank support, man. Yep, they were waiting for us, but look at that advance. Fantastic. Let's see if they've got the camo uniforms. Um, I do think... Can't quite tell at this... Yep, I think they're the camo uniforms. These are the SS guards. Hold on, guys, sorry. My character's going nuts. Uh, it's going to be a little quieter, but that was a fantastic initial hit there. Of course, we want to keep consolidating this. Thank you, Andrew. Sorry I just saw that, buddy. Um, you are awesome. We want to try to consolidate this game. So, of course, we're going to continue getting in there. Perfect um, start, basically. But we could approach with a hunt maneuver just to be safer. I don't think we're going to do that. Now, what I'm wondering is why these guys did not dismount immediately. And I think it's because we ordered that different dismount, which is a definite mistake. So let's do this. Let's dismount. And with these guys, I am going to begin a hunt maneuver this way. That'll mean they will engage as soon as they spot the enemy, which should be now, pretty much. Uh, that tank's doing just fine. I'm going to keep them there. And it looks like the rest of the men are advancing along the front. So that's pretty nice. Pretty decent start. Uh, let's push these tanks through as well. Taking a look here at that central town area. Quick move. And again, we're going to hunt in that general direction. But really, I just want them to get into cover. I'm going to feel a lot safer once they do that. And thank you again, Andrew. That was very awesome, man. Uh, once again, once we get here, that's where I'm going to dismount with that infantry and send them into the barracks too. But right now, it's very clear, guys. This is a kill order. We're supposed to get in here and wipe out any stragglers um, and any guys trying to retreat. So I'm pushing this tank through. Probably shouldn't be pushing through with the HQ tank, to be fair, but uh, we'll make an exception this once. And in fact, we're going to start pushing through with this tank too. We'll start heading in that general direction. Bullet, please not now. Please, my dude. Please, my dude. Bullet, they shut, they shut, the bull. I, I don't understand why when I'm streaming, my pets decide this is a great time to just start... Oh, man. All right, guys. Here we go. Um, let's take a look over here. So I do want to get this infantry out, too, but I'm not exactly sure where we should be putting them. Uh, these are the sapper units. So here's what I'm going to do. Next best thing, dismount, and let's just have them quick move over here. There's some cover. All right. I'm going to take the tank over here. We're not going to worry about that one just yet, and I'm just going to have him hunt forward a little bit. Um, we'll have these guys get off as well. Might as well dismount. I'm just going to have them dismount for now, as a matter of fact. I'm not even going to order them anywhere. Uh, let's just have them sort of um, recon the area, essentially. Just stay there and keep their eyes open. We'll have these guys go right to the edge, because I'm guessing any of the German reinforcements would come from over there. From Ostrovich. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. All right, let's see how it goes. Again, the whole goal of this mission is to wipe out uh, SS units that have uh, that have a prison camp, essentially. We're trying to get in there. Move, boys. Oh, boy. What the 
hell of a push. We definitely have an SS unit over there in that building, too. Although, I just want to get into one of the barracks at least, man. I wish that tank would arrive a little sooner, because we need some supporting fire against that unit right there. A lot of Soviets killed there, although I think we also wiped out the first group of enemy defenders. Sure enough, we are getting into the room there. Move it, boys! Definitely cleared that first uh, group, but I want to back up a bit because I didn't get to look at the rest of the battlefield, so let's back up just a little bit here. Again, that supporting fire really helped out a bit, but we're starting to see a lot more camp guards over there and to the house on the left here, uh, including a officer. Look at that. Got to do something about that. Light him up. Decent getting some of the guards over there for sure. And one of them with the Panzerfaust uh, was wiped out. So one less Panzerfaust to worry about. We also didn't see this central push. I want to get a visual of that. So we're going to back up once again. So there's plenty of them. Plenty of our guys are already in the, that central area. So it looks like they're holding that down pretty well. Uh, I need to move them closer to the enemy right there, overwatching the barracks. All right, not bad, not bad. This tank has been a pain in the ass since the beginning. Again, can't seem to dismount these guys. Oh, there we go, never mind. They're already dismounted, my bad. Um, and we are going to hunt in the general direction of those barracks. What we're going to do is we're going to bring this tank along. I really need this tank to focus his fire over here. Uh, so we'll hunt in that general direction. I'll also go ahead, might as well dismount this unit. But again, ugh, enemy are right there. That's so frustrating. So here's what I could do. I could go ahead and just target that area. But as you can see, we don't have a line of sight yet. So I think the best thing to do is dismount, right? Go to the tank. We're going to open up on the tank. And we are going to hunt in the general direction of that building. I'm going to do the same over here. Although, again, I'd like these guys to dismount first. And, in fact, we'll take this bit of armor. Look at that. German... No, I thought it was a German tank right there. My God. I saw the, I saw the gray armor. I was like, wait a minute. Um, we're going to take this armor. And we are simply... Since it's also an HQ unit, I'm actually going to quick move it over here and kind of hopefully have it focus on that building. This, and then hunt in that general direction. Let my dog play, yeah. Um, all right, let's see. He only likes uh, sci-fi games, unfortunately push, even with uh, commanders on the back there. I do want to bring some of these guys over, because they're not doing too much over here, but again, I'm also, like, having them here just to respond to enemy armor. So here's what I'll do. Um, I'm gonna take this guy. All right, he's already going to that location. That's fine. Uh, I'm gonna start bringing this unit, hopefully, over to this building. Uh, that will be a decent position. Take this tank. I'm just gonna quick move him right there. And as for the trucks, we don't really need to mess around with them. I am looking to see if there are any reinforcements we're missing, but I don't believe so. Uh, let's also take the Jeep and just drive her up um, to oversee the attack here. All right, let's go. Here we go. like that dismount. Again, we still don't have any tanks going in that general direction of the Commandant's residence. So it looks like we are wiping out the guys in that building. Ooh! Yep, another one down. And look at that, guys. We definitely had Germans in the trenches right here. Um, our officers were firing at them as they approached. Now they 
side and start firing. All right, not bad. Quite a few enemy casualties in that building. Seems we pretty much cleared it. And look at that. We've got Germans in that building, too. That was a fantastic hit. Knocked out a Panzerfaust. And at this point, I think we just keep let that keep going, pretty much. Um, we don't really want to change too much. Let's see. Maybe I'll grab this tank and just kind of skirt the enemy a bit. Just do a quick move over here, and then the rest of the way we're going to do a hunt kind of behind their lines. Uh, hopefully that can create some panic. And again, that infantry unit is beat up. We're going to take these guys... Now we have the area mostly covered. Um, of course, we need to get this tank to move over here. That's the that's the goal right now, is get some armor over there to overwatch the area. And we'll do the same with this unit. We're going to just quick move to where those Germans were before, uh, before the tank obliterated them. Quick move there. We're not even going to dismount the officers at this point. We are just being ultra-aggressive. Um, let's move these officers right up to the passage on the road here. Kind of the hedgerow. And keep on pushing. Holy hell, look at that. Let's back up just a little bit here. Got a lot of gunfire. Uh, our men are firing out of this window. Look at that, man. TPS agents all over the damn place, striking the enemy right there. So it looks like we've definitely spotted the enemy, and we've got some fire superiority here in the center. What I like to see. I think the upper front hole did take a hit. Had to be a Panzerfaust. Or maybe those tanks they were talking about before. There we go. Infantry are arriving, guys. Look at that. The advance is going as planned. Our main focus, again, has to be those barracks, because that's what we're trying to completely eliminate. And at least we finally have a unit that is firing directly at the Commandant's residence. In fact, I believe that that is the Commandant right there. Um, or at least his defensive group. Yeah, pretty much. His, his HQ unit. So we're going to try to destroy that. And I will actually bring this tank, swivel him around, and head towards the Commandant's residence myself. We don't have a lot of men over here, though. We've got that one group, second squad. Um, we need to try and get some more over if we can. I'd like to move with the HQ team, so we'll do this. And I feel like we should keep leapfrogging with these guys, so we're just going to quick move here and just keep watching, keep a lookout for the enemy. I'm going to do the same with this tank unit. We're going to just quick move, and then we're going to kind of hunt the rest of the way. So if anybody's leaving the buildings in this town, they're going to get zapped almost immediately. Bostova, how you doing, bud? Thank you so much for showing up, guys. Always make sure to hit that like button. And if you're a champ like Andrew, greatly appreciate that. Uh, hit that um, donate button. That is a huge one. All right, again, I'm going to quick move with this guy, trying to get behind the enemy. We also have a team on the back here of sappers. So if we can get into town, that'd be perfect. This tank hasn't drawn any fire yet. Uh, so I'm going to actually wing out this way and just keep an eye on things pretty much. Here we go. keep our focus over here at the Commandant's residence. Looks like we just took a nasty hit there. Let's back up. Yup, two hits. Looks like a probable um, Panzerfaust shot, actually. They were moving very slow, very slow-moving shells there. That tank is toast. I like that our men are opening fire, though, here on the enemy. Definitely putting up a fight. Uh, we need to send another tank in. There we go. Yep, the enemy's starting to resist now. We're sending in that other tank, of course. 
Look at that driver going for cover. Come on, get some shots. And I want to keep him on this side of the building so nothing from over there can fire at him. That's the ideal situation. That's not so ideal. All right, we're going to back up a bit because we did not get a chance to see the fight over here. Although he is starting to get shots there, which is good news. And it looks like we actually knocked someone out in the HQ unit. But let's back up a bit. Go back to the beginning here because we want to see how that fight in the center went. Penetrating shot on that tank. Obviously not good. What about over here? We're starting to spot enemy units in these buildings. And it looks like moving over here was definitely the right move. Uh, because we are engaging enemies in that building, and I think we just killed them all. Or at least killed a few of them. Look at that. They're getting hit from all sides. And again, these guys with the great coats, they're not our main target. These are just standard Wehrmacht. We're trying to get the SS killers leaving the camp over here. But if they're in our way, we can't let them live. Keep it up, boys. Look at that. Looks like they are taking off. We've got fire superiority. All across this town, we've got fire superiority. I'm just concerned they're never going to run out of ammo. Nice. All right, not bad. Um, of course, the tanks being knocked out, never a good thing. We still got that T-34 HQ unit. I am going to keep him right there because he's getting, he's getting some pretty good shots. Um, and as for over here, what we really need to do is mess with that tank right there. So we need to make sure he's hunting. Uh, not that far. He won't go that far anyway, but just to be safe, do like that. Look at the tracer rounds everywhere, man. Really lit the sky up here. That's pretty crazy. Um, HQ unit, you know what? We can probably escape with these guys into the building, but they are currently a little panicky, understandably. Um, liking that we got the sappers right there. Let's keep pushing the sappers up. So far, so good. Um... We'll just keep things going. All right. Should be perfect there. Nice to see us getting kills with our infantry squads, even at this range, man. single rifleman, but I'm sure they have more in here. In these barracks, we're just going to have to approach with caution. I feel like over there in the town, we are completely destroying them. Uh, it's really this area that's a problem, and I'm thinking we might need to relocate after we wipe out all the enemies here over in this area. Just relocate the men push up a little more, but even that I think is kind of risky. And I'm going to do the same with the infantry. We're going to start clearing these barracks, so we'll do level one. And let's just hope that we get through here. Got no smoke to pop, but we could combine squads. Uh, we'll be alright for now, however. I do want to move these tanks too. These guys are kind of just standing in the middle of nowhere. So let's quick move, and we're just going to keep our eyes in that direction to see if anybody's trying to escape the camp. We'll actually go ahead and hunt in that direction. I don't want to get too close to the buildings, though, because that makes the tanks very, very easy targets. Okay. Get to the camp. Yeah. 
Very quiet. It's a way to do it though, slowly but surely. And look at that, wiping out another infantry unit in that building. They are just getting massacred there. Uh, and we've got tanks behind them. I mean, if we want to, we can come in from the north, strike them in the flank. In fact, that's what I'm going to do there. I'm going to just kind of quick move back and then hunt in this direction. Start moving the mortars up. Uh, start moving the sappers up as well. We'll move the sappers to that building like we did before. Uh, we'll move the commander over there too. And I'm going to try, although I think it's really dangerous, I'm going to try to start moving these guys over there to the barracks. Um, let's grab this unit. A bit of a test run, right? And we're just going to go to level one. I'm hoping that those tanks will cover us from most of the damage. We'll see if that's the case. And I'm going to take this unit... And I am going to assault into that building, that level one right there. Because we want to have that as a firing position. Here we go. Germans in there. HQ units. Get him! Get him! One down. Another one down. We took it, but we lost two men taking it. And sure enough, there are definitely enemies waiting for us over there. Man, what a fight, though. Some very brave men there, unfortunately. We lost some men pushing. And yep, sure enough, they're right there. Got some additional German soldiers. Luckily, the tank was able to wipe out the last infantryman in that building. But man, what we could really use is some infantry reinforcement. We're great on tanks. Covering fire, come on! Penetrating hit on this tank that tried to be a little bit cocky. I tried to attack on the flank, but it looks like they were in the building. I'll be happy as long as those soldiers get in that building, honestly. Looks like they're already causing problems here. So we are going to back up a bit, quick move back this way, and just hunt. We're, we're going to stay very, very far away, though. And I think we could start hunting in this direction, too. Start going for the enemy directly in front of us. Again, very risky, but we're going to leave one unit or two units behind for covering fire. I'm just trying to completely take um, over the buildings. Oh, no worries, man. I appreciate you joining that. Anybody who becomes a channel subscriber, I really appreciate that, man. Uh, or, like, you know, the uh, the membership, I should say. That's absolutely awesome. All right, here we go. Get in there, get in there, get in there, get in the building, get in the building. All right, not bad. Not bad. Yeah, they're doing over here. Not bad. We are moving through. There's definitely resistance there. But it looks like we might just be able to make it into this dacha. Or is it a dacha? What's the correct pronunciation? Nice. Perfect. Light them up. guys waiting for shoot him all right sorry we'll take a look at this gunfight too because there was a nasty gunfight that occurred over here as soon as we took the barracks it looks like our men may have noticed some germans across the way and these guys it's the camo troops these are the ss troops we're looking for these are the ones we want to wipe out so immediately they are responding Sage through the window. That looked like a friendly fire shot, honestly. Looked like the guy back here shot him in the back. Hopefully they'll respond a little better here as the battle goes on. 
one of them in the window there did catch a bullet at least. And again, I just want him to continue with that hunt maneuver. I'd love to get some infantry to take um, the comm Commandant's residence here. But we might actually need to use these mortars to do that. Like, believe it or not, they may need to function as a bit of an infantry team. We're going to do the mortars like this and go to level one. Which, if they run out of mortar rounds, they actually make pretty good infantry teams anyway. So, that might not be the weirdest thing in the world. Um, however, that residence... Absolutely want to get in there. We're going to dismount. And we are going to quick move in there. Hopefully the tank can hold it down as we do that. I want to make sure that the tank opens up too, though. I want somebody on the gun. Open up. I don't know. Should we keep this armor here anymore? I haven't seen a single German unit yet. And we could probably use another tank. So I think I'm going to bring him over. It's going to take him a while, but we're going to just kind of mosey on over. And with this tank, I'm going to start working my way again towards the barracks. Um, because that's our main target. So we'll do something like that. Make sure nobody leaves. Nice! Look at that shrapnel shot, man. That was beautiful. I believe it's a canister shot. Is that what it's called? Unfortunately, that tank did it got hit. I mean, they very quickly are knocking our tanks out uh, because this area is heavily defended. Again, this is a probing attack to rescue POWs and wipe out anybody um, capturing them, of course. Actually, they did okay. Wow, they made it to the first story without issue. Here we go. Shoot him. Shot another German. Nice. Not bad. I wish he would get inside, though, damn it. One of our guys just outside shooting shooting Germans. Uh, but there's plenty of Germans over there. Looks like they stumbled across them. And again, these guys with the gray coats, they're not who we're looking for. They're not our main target at all. Yep, mortars are on the way. We're going to do the same with this mortar team. We're, we're turning them into a, a de facto infantry support team. So we're going to do this, and then we're going to move to level one over here. I want to keep the rest of our infantry here just for a bit, um, because I want to make sure that we have established control completely. What I will do, though, is start moving up. So we're going to start pushing these guys up through town. Keep the officer over here. Oh, look at that. Germans trying to escape. And we got them immediately. Oh, taking shots. Very, very small arms fire. It's got all they have are rifles. It's going to be the enemy HQ team there. It's a single guy. Very brave officer, I must say. But hopefully we can outgun him here. Right, nice to see that tank arriving, of course, to the barracks to provide some assistance. Uh, and we absolutely have fire superiority once again. Look at that. The whole road is under our control here. And I'm thinking we could just keep on leapfrogging and taking out these Germans throughout town. So that's probably what we're going to do. Um, although these guys took a nasty bit of shots, I got to admit. The sappers actually got hit pretty bad. So what we're going to do, um, let's make sure there's no one else in this building... I am going to hunt to the third floor, and then I'm going to take this tank and just kind of do one of these, staying away from the buildings, of course. We're pushing through. 
We are pushing through. Uh, this tank... Let's do the same thing. Just kind of hunt up until there. Get in there, get in there, get in there. All right, I like that covering fire. We've got quite a few windows in this building, too. So if we spot them, man, we got them. Nice. Yep, looks like a single unit there. You can do it, boys. easily. Um, and we've got the command unit too. Look at that. Driving right past the command unit with our tank as our infantry wipes them out from a distance. Gotta love it. I would say the town is almost entirely ours. Uh, let's just take all of our guys and head right over to the barracks pretty much. Uh, wipe out the rest of the resistance. So we'll do this. We'll do... What have I done? There we go. Um, quick move. Hunt. It's crossing this large field that I'm a little concerned with. But we gotta do it. So, we'll do this. And then hunt there. Uh, this, I'm just simply gonna charge. Sappers, they're on the third floor already. We'll keep them there. Um, they can provide covering fire. Move on through with these sappers. Move on through with these sappers as well over there. Command team? Yeah, so these are the guys that um, got hit in the tank, but they survived, so we'll move them here. Uh, one of them's got a PPSH. Can still be used, of course. And what I could do um, is actually... No, that's right. We're sending these guys in as a combat unit. But what we're going to do is quick move here. There we go. All right, everybody's heading to the east side of town. I like it. Not bad, not bad. Look at that. Those mortars are approaching very slowly. What is this, World War One? As long as they get to the position, I'll be okay. I just want them to, to start firing because that will give away their position, of course. Make it a lot easier for us to locate them all. Moment of truth. They're going to be crossing this open field. If there's any more Germans hanging out in the town, this is where they're going to start opening up. going. So as you can see, we got quite a few guys in this building. I think we're going to branch out. We're going to hit all of these barracks, trying to make it to the main barrack area right there, of course. But I want to do it all at once and with the advance of the armor, too, just to kind of uh, shock the enemy. Basically be advancing from, like, multiple areas. And I'm starting to see some potential tank indicators right there. 
Might start approaching with the tank, too. Look at all of the Soviets we've got in here. That is fantastic. And again, all those camo units that we wiped out, those are the SS units. Oh, sorry. It's like, why is nothing, nobody firing? Yep, that's definitely a tank approaching. Definitely a tank approaching. Definitely, definitely a tank approaching. Why is he moving his turret? Oh boy. All right. Uh, uh, this is going to have to be a quick save. Here we go. Boom. Hunt. Same with these guys. Hunt. And we're going to be advancing with our infantry too. So quick move in here. Um, and I'll move together. So I'll do these guys as a quick move. And then I'll do these guys as a hunt. So they'll be kind of doing a little bit of overwatch as well. Um, same thing with this tank. We might as well move in the general direction of wherever those tanks are coming from. And we can probably keep on moving through with these guys. So we'll quick move there. Here we go. <clears throat> gonna be behind our burning tank for sure but unless that's like just a truck we'll soon spot it oh he's getting behind the tank even more look at that come on now all right here we go guys we're also pushing through here uh let's back up just a bit because i want to see the gunfight here so of course our men are making it in they are spotting the camoed ss troops right there fire good shot There's plenty more in the subsequent barracks. We need our guys to push. It's good that the mortars, though, were the ones kind of taking over the defensive uh, duties here. Good shot. At least we got the ones in this room, but we still have enemies in that room, of course, continuing the fight. And as far as I could tell, we have not spotted that enemy armor yet. Let's do this, and we are going to send in yet another team. So these guys actually did not lose anyone. Um, I just want to make sure they get in there quickly. Come on. We have a German in there. Uh, we're just going to have to assault that room. All right, here we go. Grab this group. Uh, we actually want to grab the group that's not totally beat up, and we are going to assault level one. Um, as for the armor, we could do something like this, but... I don't know where that guy is. It's some very tricky enemy armor on this map. Here we go. Boom, boom, and boom. Those guys are still heading over. We can actually change their trajectory just a bit here. And we're going to go straight for level one of these barracks. Officers have arrived. They should be able to increase the morale just a little bit amongst the men. There we go, guys. We are moving in. We took out the German immediately as we moved in, but there's still two over here. Look at that fire. One down, two down. Good work, boys. Good work. Look at that. We're moving in with yet another group, and there are plenty of Germans left, man. Here 
we absolutely got ambushed. I'd like to have taken out at least a few of them. All right, one down, but I think this one is going to knock us out for sure. Nonetheless, plenty of enemies left right there. Hoping that tank can start firing at them. Just keep these guys right here and overwatch. Try and take out as many Germans as possible just hanging out here. The crew is going to be ambushed for sure unless they get really lucky. He's already heading back, so he should be able to spot them. Might feel contentious holding on to the town for now. Tank not spotting them, unfortunately. We've got some more armor moving up over here. That was my initial concern. We're going to need to reverse, probably. Yep. Yep. That's what I was worried about. I did not expect them to start attacking uh, right away. But they are trying to stop our push into these barracks, of course. They don't want us killing any of their men. Looks like he's already starting to back up. He sees what's coming. So we're going to do this. We'll take this tank, and I'm just going to hunt in that general direction. And same with this guy. Going to switch around and hunt. Actually, that's not a bad team, second team there. Um, so let's move them into level one here. These are, of course, going to be sapper units. Any reinforcements? All right. Yep, they're they're getting tricky, but what can you do? You can tell the men are very tired. Not an easy fight. Just heard some shots. Sounded like a 20 millimeter cannon. See, if they were there, they would be right there. So we'll see. It's a little suspicious. Kind of a weak sauce approach, but I'm going to bring these trucks over just so that we can use the vehicle crews. Uh, we'll bring the commander over too. Bring him here. And let's just hope that our tanks locate something of the enemies. Oh, oh, oh! 
All right. I knew we, there was going to be something there. Let's back up a bit. Look at that coming right out of the woodworks, man. Looks he's going to try to escape our tank, but he's looking straight at our tank, too. So this is a bit of a Mexican standoff, or more like a German standoff. There we go! My God, it got our tank right through the back. We're going to have to try to turn this guy over this way and get some shots. But that's rough, man. That is rough. We were warned about the uh, enemy armor coming this way. Boom, boom. And I want to just grab this guy and hunt this way. And we're going to stay there. I'd love to have some additional armor. And we're going to have to carry out the raid now or never. So I am going to just simply push... Again, trying to go through with the raid. We will hunt with some of these guys. Uh, we'll leave the mortars behind us covering fire. But it's either make it or break it here. I'll leave the officer behind us covering fire as well. Yep, right away. My goodness. No covering fire. Well, finally got some covering fire there at the end. I really just want to make it into that barrack. I think there's just one more enemy there. He's right there in the corner. Come on, get a visual, boy. Get a visual. He's right there. How can they not spot him? Nope, he surrendered. Nope, he has not surrendered. That is so frustrating. Kill him. And we're also not spotting those tanks with our tank. That's just very no tank situation, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Should be able to be spotting that tank. I'm not giving up that easily, though. You can do this. No, he can't. No, he can't. Uh, and again, still no enemy armor that we're spotting, unless it's moved so quickly that it's out of our line of sight already, which doesn't seem likely. Got that tank back there just kind of hanging out doing anything uh i suppose we could swing them back around and take some shots but i think i'm gonna call it there uh we've got plenty of tanks to kind of roll around and shoot at the enemy but not enough infantry to clear these barracks from what i can tell we'll do this we'll kind of do a little hunt maneuver behind keep those officers there at least and keep on looking for enemy tanks but i don't see anything Nope, nothing so far. Not a thing. Um, I will keep this tank here, though. He's still on a hunt maneuver. So we'll just see if any of the enemies are brave enough to uh, try and come out and, and actually engage. Same over here. But I think short of reinforcements, it's going to be very tough to take that area.
There's another thing I could do, although I don't think... I don't think they're there. Kind of wondering where they are now. Ooh, they might be in town. Sneaky, sneaky. All right. We'll do one of these quick. And then hunt through town. not aiming the turret ahead. He's kind of like got it off to the side. Make visibility a lot tougher through here. But yeah, nothing, nothing in town, man. That is weird. That is just weird. Where did those tanks go? Let's move our commander unit over here. Level one. Guys just got a little Makarov pistol. Oh, 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 tank, 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 tank. How did he just now spot it? And he still hasn't spotted it. He's got his gun aimed, but he still hasn't spotted the damn thing. <laughs> oh, you bastard. I think we just got a loader, a driver, no gunner. Yeah, we definitely have to evac any troops at this point. I would uh, sack the mission and get the hell out. It looks like these guys are already on that. But I think that's the situation. He's not going to be able to fire because he doesn't have a gunner. Looks like the German might be in the same boat, man. in the next tank to see if he can uh, sort this mess out or potentially just get killed himself. All right here and then we are going to hunt. He should be in that location. In fact, just to be safer, do like this, but he should be somewhere right there. Once again, very strange situation. <laughs> we got hit first as their tank is moving in front of us. Man, and people wonder why I haven't been playing strategy games recently. It's just, I'm just kind of fed up with it, to be honest. Nonetheless, this is a pretty cool mission. Um, I definitely recommend checking it out. It's called Liberation, um, and you can pick it up with Combat Mission Red Thunder. Um... It's not great. I mean, I'm not going to lie to you. Is the game well optimized? I mean, I guess. I haven't had any issues, really. Yeah, I'm speaking for myself. And again, I don't really play this much, so... I don't know what to tell you, man. Buy, you know... Uh, buy at your own discretion. I, if, it were, if it were me, I'd pick up a different combat mission game, like Shock Force. Uh, I really like Shock Force. But anyway, thank you so much, Andrew. You are awesome, man. And anybody that stopped by to watch, I really do appreciate it. Um, and I hope to do some more streams in the future, but I got to come up with some new games. I'm getting really bored of the stuff that I've been playing, and it's situations like this. It just, there's elements of strategy gaming that are so, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, um, oh God, really, sh I've really been in Europe way too long. I'm, I'm forgetting my English. Um, like they don't bend to the player's will at all. It's like, 
it's almost like mathematics. There's one answer to the equation. That's it. Um, and, and it feels a lot of times like a lot of these strategy games feels that way where there's just no other way to achieve victory except for like one specific way. And with combat mission games, I feel like that all the fucking time. It feels like a puzzle game. It's pretty much a puzzle game. And once you figure out where the puzzle pieces are, you can manipulate your men around them and basically get through the mission without a single loss. Um, it is what it is, though, and I just, like I said, sort of wish that strategy gaming would kind of evolve here um, a bit. It's been a lot of the same crap for a long time, man. Anyway, thank you so much. Take care. Have a